Not since mid-March has a car or truck come through MLK Drive. The four-mile stretch of road between the Schuylkill River and the Schuylkill Expressway has been off limits to traffic. Safe. Yeah. For the kids just to run around. I like it. Tiffany Herbin and her family spent the afternoon on the drive, not worrying about passing cars. She says they come here more often now. The city closed the drive to traffic for that very reason to open more space for people to exercise with social distancing, like Alex Kwong, who's been training for a marathon. I come out here probably three or four times a week, and without cars this year, it's been so much different, so much nicer. Um, I'm like, I feel safe running down the middle of the road, and it's a great training spot. The city says more than 5,000 pedestrians have been using MLK Drive these days. That's a 1,300% increase. Randy Labasso with the Bicycle Coalition of Greater Philadelphia can see why. MLK Drive is a 35 mile an hour street. Um, most people don't drive 35 miles an hour on MLK Drive. His group wants to keep the drive as it is now or have the road split between pedestrians and buses. I think part of the reason why we've seen so many more people want to use it is that yes, it's safer, but it's also because it's safer, it's so much more inviting as a park, which is what it's supposed to be. A petition online has more than 2,700 supporters so far. The city has said the road is closed indefinitely while improvements are made. As we inch closer to spring, I can ask for a better day after all these snowstorms. I'm over it. The traffic, too. It's unfortunate that it took a pandemic to, to see that, but I think now that we are here, it would be really not good to go back. Along MLK Drive, Matt Delusia, NBC 10 News.